everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about census taker of CS50 introduction to database with SQL. So this exercise is about week four where we were learning how to create views and how to display them in our database, how can we separate some parts of the information that we want and instead of only selecting with a SQL command we can store this in a view. Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to build four views about the Himalayan mountain or actually the Nepali uh, government. Okay, so I already installed the distribution code. You can install as well. And you will see that in our table, we have in our database, we have one table called census. And in there we have ID, district, locality, families, households, population, male and female. And all of that are numbers recorded by the district or the locality or the families, how many families we have, uh, the total number of households associated. So here we're all, always working with number. Okay, so let's start creating the first one that is the rural. So in rural.sql, write a SQL statement to create a view named rural. And this will be very hard for me to say, um, but well, let's continue. This view should contain all census records relating to our rural munici municipality identifying by including the word that I won't mention again in their name. Ensure the view contains all of the columns from the census table. Our goal is to select uh, everything we have about the rural part of the, the, the population. Okay, so to do that, let's take a look at our database. I open it up here so we can see it clearly. In locality, we're going to find the word rural. Okay, so we need to find, we need to select everything we have in our table where locality has the word rural. Okay, so instead of creating the view already, I'm going to first show you the data, the data we're getting, and then we insert this data in a view. So as we already know, so select star from census where locality like, and again, we need to use the word like because rural will be inside of a string. So it can be at the beginning, in the middle or at, at the end. So the word like will be the best way to approach this and using the percentage. And I can say here rural. Okay. So if I run here in our database, we're going to see all the data that contains locality equals to rural. Okay, but this is not what we want. We want to store what we just did in a view. So to do that, we just need to insert the word create view, the name of our view as and beneath that we're going to put the select command we just built. Okay, so in our case, oops, we want to create, we want to create a view called rural, create view, and I'm going to write it down here as and then everything will be done in there. So let's run and I will show you. So once I run it, it will be in here. And now if we open up our database, you will see that in we have a type view now that is the rural one we just did that contains, it won't display everything we have, but that contains all of the fields we wanted and it contains the data we just saw in here. Okay, so that's it for the first exercise. Now let's go to total. So in total, write a SQL query to create a view named total. This view should contain the sums for each numeric column in census across all districts and localities. Ensure the view contains each of the following columns. So as we already know, all the columns we have in our table, they are numbers. So if we want to sum, we want to get the total of each column, we can use our aggregate function sum. Okay, so let's start writing from scratch and then we add a view. So select, now I want to use sum, I want to get families. And just to simplify a little 